Hey everybody, Troy here with Fields Family Cooking and Outdoors, and today my wife and I are going to smoke some baby back ribs, which we have never done before in our Pit Boss pellet smoker. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take a, a recipe from uh, three pieces of pecan we got off Instagram. We're going to kind of work with that as our base. So we took a rack of baby back ribs, I peeled the silver skin off, and then we sliced them, which is little opposite of what we normally do. So I slice every rib up, and then we took Meat Church Gospel, and we sprinkled the Meat Church Gospel all over them, all around, all four sides. And they've been soaking for about, sitting for about 20 minutes, and they're just pulling all, everything in, they're sweating down. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on the smoker at 250 for about an hour and a half. And then at that point, I'll update you what we're gonna do from there. Okay, while we have the ribs sitting, I'm coming out to the uh, pellet smoker. And we have the Pit Boss uh, combo pellet smoker. It's the pellet smoker on one side and the grill on the other. Last night my wife and I did steaks. Tonight we're doing ribs. Works out perfectly. Um, we are we use uh, the Pit Boss competition blend. I'll show you a picture of that in just a minute, but we're gonna fire it up. What the uh, Pit Boss asks for you to do is to open the grates, turn it on, get it smoking, and then close the grates off. I'll show you that, or the, uh, the slides, and then let her start from there. I'll let it warm up for about 20 to 30 minutes before I put the ribs on. Okay, and here's the smoker side. And of course I've got this open, you can close, open. It's a little dirty in there from all the other things we've been doing. I call it well seasoned. Okay, we got power, and we've got smoke. So once this fires up, it starts to smoke, we'll close it off and close the lid. I'll show you that in just a minute, but while we're doing that, I'll show you what we're using here. We're using Pit Boss. Competition blend has hickory, apple, maple, and oak. We just found that it's a it's kind of a good catch-all. We use it for beef, pork, everything. I'm not real picky about the uh, smoke. And then of course here is the, the grill side of our pit boss. And while we're waiting for this to warm up, we'll give a shout out to the OU women's softball team for winning their fourth national championship in a row and eighth overall. But there we go, boomer sooner. Okay, the smoker had been running for about two minutes and the smoke is slowly starting to roll. I can see the flame inside. And today we're not gonna be using our probes. I just left them plugged in. As you can see, it's pretty warm out today. I just leave the probes hanging. But we're almost at the point to shut it off. There's the smoke coming through the grates. Or I'm not sorry, the grates, the slats in the uh, barrel. I need to use the correct terminology. Go. Now we're getting smoke. We'll see the flame in just a minute. Once it lights off, we can close her down. I love that smell. There. I'm going to leave it on just so you guys can see how long it takes to, to get this to, smoker to fire off. There we go. As you can see, there's a flame. So now that we have the flame, according to Pit Boss at this point, this is where we sl use the slat, close off the slats in the barrel, put it down and let it warm up. So while it's warming up and while I'm doing the smoking, I'll be out doing some yard work. I'll be back with an update shortly. Okay, we've got it good and warm. I'm gonna get the ribs in. And instead of turning it up to 250 right away, I like to get that good smoke taste and that good smoke green. So what we're going to do is leave it on the smoke setting, which is about 200, for about 45 minutes, and then I'll turn it up. There we go. Okay, we've been on smoke setting, which I thought was 200, but it's 180. For about 45 minutes. I'm going to crank it to 250. I'm not going to open it up, but Looks like it's going good in there. We'll check in about an hour. Okay. We spritz the ribs and we roll them 
about 30 or 45 minutes ago. We've been on for about almost two hours total, hour and a half of temperature. So we're gonna take these ribs out. What I did was I turned the smoker up to 350 just before I pulled them. Here comes the magic. We're going to put some butter on these bad boys. And we're going to add a little bit. It's going to fall into the pan, so I'm not too concerned about it. Like I said, this is a whole new way of doing things for us. Now, from here, we got Meat Mitch's barbecue sauce. I already shook it up. What we're gonna do here, we're just gonna pour it around. Of course, you can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like, but Kind of like this one. I think it's about good. Now we're going to cover them. And that's that. We're going to put it back on the smoker for about 30 minutes at 350. Okay, we pulled the ribs. They smoked for about two hours, just a little over two hours. And as you can see, we've, ro we've rolled them, checked them. They are incredible, juicy. So I'm gonna pull one out and give it a shot. See how they taste. We have collard greens and sweet potato and baked potato to go with it, which is a perfect combination. Uh oh, it's just thawed off the bone. Very hot. Okay, I really like this. This is a new recipe for us. It worked out really well. I don't know if you can see or not, but this meat is just coming right off of the bone. Not chewy, it's perfect. But it's hot, hard to grab. And hope you guys try this and enjoy. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and watch the rest of our videos too. We do a lot of things on our channel and have a lot of fun.